The next case I want to cover is that of Andrew Tate, a misogynistic social media influencer and potentially now in a lot more trouble. He's currently under house arrest in his compound in Bucharest in Romania and under constant police surveillance. He's a big target for them. And whilst he remains at their house arrest, he's also under investigation accused of sex trafficking. But he's now been accused of intimidating witnesses and plotting to flee to Dubai, along with an allegation of one of his co-accused, a former police officer, Luna Rada, who's alleged to have accessed classified police computers in order to gain information that might give them an edge to the case. So whatever the next stages are in this ongoing investigation, it's clear that Andrew Tate and his brother have annoyed the judges considerably. Now, that's never a good thing to do because eventually you're going to appear before them and your fate is in their hands. Andrew Tate has created a huge amount of media publicity and interest. He is a man who I think has a very strong misogynistic views. He has collected a following, a following overwhelmingly of young men, young men who are interested and in a way follow him because of his notoriety and because of his money. This is a man who has made huge amounts, millions and millions and millions out of spurting his misogynistic views and of course having an audience to which to do that. Young men who are easily influenced and obviously he is the influencer. He has been banned from many of those social media platforms and in relation to misogyny and hate speech. You only need to watch some of his previous videos and very quickly you get a taste of where he's coming from. He has repeatedly claimed that the Romanian prosecutors have no evidence and that their alleged case against him is a political conspiracy designed to silence him. Well, that is his account. The case still has a long way to go and we'll continue to follow it on this channel.